Hey guys, thanks for tuning in, uh, hanging out a bit this morning here in the shop. Uh, nice, sunny, cold, super cold day here in Colorado, but uh, appreciate everybody subscribing uh, since I started the channel in April uh, when COVID hit. Uh, just did a bunch of videos, everything from uh, building a rocket stove to solar projects to diesels to car restorations. I mean, just a ton of videos. Check out my playlist. And I appreciate everybody subscribing, up to 770 something subscribers now, which is fantastic. I didn't expect it to take off that fast since April, but uh, appreciate everybody's support. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, refer a friend, I appreciate it. And uh, today we're gonna be in the shop, uh, working and finishing up the thing. Uh, one last project I need to do is get the uh, convertible frame um, connected up to the car and fit um when i got the car um i was missing the uh the tabs the mounting studs that go on the corner here for some reason they were missing and i was trying to fit the convertible top and i don't have another thing that i could go just run over and take a look at how they did it and i thought the roll bar was going to be too high but it's not what happened was is i was trying to use the bolt holes on the side and inside of the the body here for the uh, convertible top mount. So, so I called my buddy up, Mike, at thingparts.com back in New York, who's just a phenomenal resource for that. And apparently there's these little bracket here with a pin uh, that the convertible top goes into the back supporting frame. So he whacked off a couple off of some totaled out uh, things. Um, no things were totally destroyed in, in the filming of this. But uh, anyway, he sent me a couple of these and uh, this is gonna go, this bracket here. Uh, the next thing I need to do is cut off this bracket, grind it down, and then put it over into this location and weld it to the body, which is no big deal. Then I'll have a mounting point for the uh, convertible top frame. So, so that's the next project. So, uh, Let's get to it and let's go into time warp because it'd be pretty boring uh, stretched out cutting these things off and grinding them down. So get ready for time warp on the GoPro here. Four, three, two, one. Got the brackets all cleaned up, cooled down, and basically cut the metal off the back. So looking good here. Um, and they're gonna go right up in here and probably about a half inch from the edge of this hole to the bracket. Uh, the other side actually has a dimple on it. Let's go take a look at that, see if you can see it. Kind of a locating dimples. Um, I see one right there. There's one right here. And that bracket just goes right in between there. And I'll just take and the uh, next step is get this all cleaned up down to bare metal and then I'll just weld it all the way around and I'll have my mounting points for my convertible top frame. Top on, man, looking pretty good here. Got the front cross pro on, and that is nice and tight, and the clamps are lining up. Um, and you can see what I did here welding these uh, brackets on here. So I'll get these ground down looking nice, but uh, you can see the convertible top frame goes over these pins. And then uh, there's a retainer clip that I ordered from thingparts.com. Mike's sending them to me. 
and I'll get those on. And then there's another crossbow that goes across the back. But uh, another challenge I had was this center bow up here uh, was bent pretty bad. So I heated it up, straightened it. But I ended up, what I did is I just cut it off. Uh, so when I'm welding tubing together after I cut it, what I like doing is putting in a sleeve. So let's see if that sits there. Um, so I was able to get one of these sleeves from uh, Lowe's. That's a 5 8 uh, outside diameter, and this is 5 8 inside with some slop. So I uh, ground off the nickel uh, chroming on there so it's down to bare steel. And I'll just put that in the slot. And this is a good way to do roll bars and other things. Always put another sleeve of pipe in the middle. And then I'll just go over top of that like so. And then line it up uh, where I need to be. Did that on the other side, put a little chamfer on it so I got well, good weld penetration on it. And uh, this should about finish this up, but uh, it's looking really good today. Um, and then I also clear the roll bar. You figure the top is going to come down and hit this, this angle here. So I actually double check it with a level make sure I clear that roll bar and you could see wow that just makes it just clears the roll bar I guess it was made for that so so I don't have to modify the roll bar at all but uh, let's get these welded up get these ground down on the brackets make them look nice and uh, that should wrap it up and then I'll bring you back uh, when we get it all mocked up Couple tips, when you're welding, always try to get your ground connection near where your weld's at. I could have left the ground on the vehicle itself where I took off some bare metal, but transferring it through the hinge and up through the joints and everything probably wouldn't be accurate. So, so I had a bare spot of metal right here, put the ground clamp on that. Also, when you're welding too, um, you can see I'm protecting my original, really nice restored seats you probably saw in a previous video right Got them in Kansas and restored them. Um, I put a welding blanket over. Uh, I'm just going to tack this a couple places, take it down, and then weld it all the way around. But uh, the welding blanket, just Harbor Freight, and it wasn't that much money, maybe 30 bucks. But, uh, you know, just get that and throw it over something. And you can see I've been using it for years. I burned through a couple pieces of it. So, but uh, it's worked out really well. tops all done and fitted man this turned out pretty nice considering it was never on this car before I was able to get a hold of it but it got the straps on that hold this back bow on here um, corrected the bend in the middle rewelded everything and fits really good up here in the corners like two pins that go down into the square tube and then there's a latch uh, right here that once you have the material and the weather stripping on just folds up and is nice and tight And that's how you hold it on so lower the top just undo these two clips on both sides Fold her back so it's gonna be nice uh, Nice to get the vinyl on I'll get that ordered up and get the retaining clips uh, back here And it's looking really good clears the roll bar just barely uh, but it does so so that was a nice little project. We'll wrap that up. And next thing to do is I've got some seat belts that I got from my uh, local
Colorado VW shop, Painters Grinding, downtown Denver. was down there yesterday, running some errands, picked up a couple new seat belts. The old seat belts were just trashed. So these will go in next. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bore you putting seat belts in. All it is is just one bolt on either end. I don't think I'm going to video that. So let's go ahead and wrap it up. Thanks for watching, and please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. And uh, we got some neat new projects for 2021 coming up. And uh, let's wrap it up. Thanks for watching.